All right, so what's up guys? Um, I'm making a Q&A video. Last night I posted on my Instagram about, or asking for questions from you guys on my Instagram and through my DM and Facebook. Keep in mind, since I did get some questions from my personal friends, it will be a little awkward. They asked me some weird ass questions, but I will answer them the best I can. And also the people that ask me questions, I will answer them the best I can also. Keep in mind that. And then while I'm answering the questions, I will post up um, screenshots right here or somewhere right here in the video, the questions that I'm reading. If my reading is horrible, I'm sorry because I did read some of the comments and they don't make any sense, like grammar's bad on them. But uh, let's start off, I'm gonna load up my Instagram page, so I'm just gonna be answering the questions off my Mac. So this is how it is. There you go. That's the questions right there. So let's get this thing started. What's, okay, let's start off, I'll start off by reading the Instagram name and then uh, scroll down as I go. Hold on a second. For some reason, my Instagram shows more questions compared to the one on my computer. Okay, I guess I read off my phone. I guess the Mac would help. All right, from Min Ninja Fam, he asks, us "What to expect for the first time track events?" Attending a first, or if you're going to the track event first time, my first time, it was a bit like nerve-wracking and stuff because you are racing a car. You're going pretty fast. You will also have that mindset in your head where you might wreck or spin out and hit somebody. So that's how I want to say it. But just keep in mind, if it's your first time at an event, they will put you in a uh, beginner group where you first follow a lead car. The lead car will be an instructor and then you follow the instructor and they'll show you the lines and um, they'll show you around the track first. And then after that, the second session, they will start just letting you go by yourself. So just keep in mind, just just don't be scared. If you trust your car, like if you actually maintain your car and work on your car, then just smash out or something, you know, enjoy the car, enjoy handle the handling that your car can do, enjoy just everything about it. If you're not going for competition like me, just go and have fun. When you have fun, you know for a fact you're gonna have a blast, especially bring your homies with you. Next question from Anthony Chavez B. What are some mods that increase horsepower that are slept on? Huh, to be honest, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm, when it comes to like getting power out of my car, I, it's just whatever, to be honest with you. I mean, I just have headers, if that counts. Headers, yes, yes. Four to one headers, four to one headers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mi Pikachu sta, mi Pikachu sta. I, I think I read that right. Do you believe in dicks out for Harambe? Yes. Sushi Boy Vince. Tips on building a daily driven slash track car. Um, the tip I'll give you is when you're building a daily driven slash track car, like pretty much this car, make sure it's reliable. Make sure you have everything done to it. Make sure it's maintained. Make sure you fix everything before you hit the track. If you don't fix something and then you go to the track, you never know if that problem will actually expand and then more shit will happen to your car. Yeah, just make sure everything's up to date. Make sure you check everything before you hit the track. And if there's a problem that actually happens when you're not even on the track or going to the track, like for example, if there's a leak, fix it right away. You don't want to let it sit there and the leak will just expand and it gets worse, you know what I'm saying? Okay, next question. Sant Sant Mari, S-A-N-T-M-Y-R-E. Will you stay with Honda after this build? And if so, what car are you enjoy or uh, what car are you eyeing to Sorry. Will you stay with Honda after this build? And if so, what car are you eyeing next to build? To be honest, I really want to get an S2000, but if I was supposed to actually extend my platform out, like get a different platform, I kind of really want a Miata, the NAs, or NB is okay too, or a Subaru, WRX wagon, the or SCL wagon, whatever, the new ones, I really like those. Alejandro asks, what's your dream car? Uh, dream car? NSX. I know a lot of people would be like, I want a Skyline, GTR, or anything like that. But to be honest, like I think, I mean, I wouldn't mind getting a Skyline, but I probably would enjoy an NSX more. It's just something that I personally feel like I will actually enjoy. Daniel underscore red EJ6. I want super buttery shifts. My transmission doesn't grind except third at high RPMs. It's also kind of hard to downshift to third. It doesn't grind though, just takes a second to go in. Other than solid bushings and a short throw, what do you recommend the most? I can believe it's not but a shift or feel. And how do you feel about Ridge's conversion for the Civic? Um, to start off with, I guess the shifter. Um, if your transmission is grinding gears, it could be caused by a lot of things. Either uh, one, of course, your synchros. Two, your sh something's loose, like your shifter or something. Or your shift linkage is bent. But I'm not really sure on that one, so I'm not really smart about that type of stuff. But I'm running a Dimes Performance shifter bushings with a K2 shifter and then I set the throw pretty high. What I'm shifting is pretty, you know, pretty quick. It's pretty short, I mean. A lot of people like how my shifter feels, so... 
I guess, you know, dimes form shifter bushings with casing shifter and a carbon shift up. And then this conversion, to be honest, I have some running drums, but I don't mind getting rid of this conversion. I have actually all the parts laying right there underneath my toe box to do a rid of this conversion, but I just like, I haven't really felt the need to. Reason is, is cause like, all your stopping power is mainly in the front. If you get rid of this, I mean, it will help a little, but not as much as the front calipers. That's why I did upgrade to Willwood four pot um, calipers. So that's why I haven't done the rid of this conversion yet. S2K.chochi. I don't know if I said that right. What's your next car after this? My next car after this could be S2000, Subaru. I don't know what I want. Sorry, Texas. Carlolo underscore. What are your thoughts on a Miata? I love Miatas. I would love to actually own a Miata and build one. I can't really imagine what I will put on it. Maybe, oh, what is it called? A Racing Beat front end uh, fender flares, 15 by nine, like probably like 60 wells or something like that, or teeth. Actually, T37 V's, the 15 inch, with the hard top. Miatas are so nice with some beefy, chunky tires. How did you make your mount to inside your car? Um, I'm actually using a Delkin window mount, suction cup mount. It has two suction cups. I'll probably put a link in it uh, down in the description for you. It's pretty expensive, though. it's like 80 bucks. Ease Vans underscore EJ1. Why don't you make your bay clean or engine swap? My bay is not clean because if I go off the track, it gets dirty again. Also, there's a lot of construction on my street. I don't care about what the motor looks like as long as it's not leaking and it runs properly. Why won't I do an engine swap? Because the single cam does the job right now for me and there's something wrong with it. I'd rather make use of it until it blows up then get a swap. So save more money, you know? But I enjoy the single cam. You can learn a lot more off the single cam computer compared to the B series. Jen Hu, Jen Hu, what you do for a living? Um, I make videos right here, as you guys see, and I work at a Japanese bookstore. That Fitment though, what clothes were you on when you had the sedan? I have function form type ones, which are on this car now. Left hand drive job hobby. Would you ever build another Sans car? Not as your daily though. I wouldn't. It would be. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't spend that much money on it, but I just, I wouldn't even park a Sans car and leave it in here. I, rather, I like enjoying my cars and driving the cars. That's why I have a functional car now. So if I had a Sans car, ah, nah, too much. I just have too much to worry about. I do miss the Sans thing though, but I tear Q, TE for the world. Yes, that's not a question, but you always comment TE for the world on all my <laughs> posts, I mean. Thanks Q. Newball 85 gr what was your inspiration for track racing? Why would you choose to run a sock over a dock to take engine? My inspiration for track racing was because my brother, which is this car under this cover right here. Um, you guys want to see what's under it, but time will, time will show. Because my brother was doing track before and I was doing, I was in the sand scene at the time, but I switched over to track because the stand scene wasn't that much fun. You had to avoid so much shit on the street. You get paranoid of like breaking shit hitting your inner barrels and stuff. I think the first time hitting the track, it just changed my whole perspective on functionality of a car can have. I love like functional like stuff now. Like I'm not hating on sand scene. I still love the sand scene. The track life is fun, really fun. Would you choose to run a sock over a dock? If you guys don't know what sock and dock is, sock is single overhead cam and dock is dual overhead cam, which is, this is a single cam. Docks is like B-series and stuff. I'm running sock because it came with it and I'm using the most out of it and I'm learning a lot from the motor. If I had a dual overhead cam dock, um, going through the turns, it'll make you want to push more on the gas, but the car does have a lot more power like if you have a G-Star. Like that, I'm just kidding. Like a G-Star, so I think the single cam you'll learn a lot more often because it's slower and also you could keep your foot on the gas through all the turns. Tony.22H, what are some of the few things you would recommend a new YouTuber that wants to start their own cha car channel? If you have a car and there's problems with it, just make a video about it. If there's something you got new for your car, make a video about it. If you just want to talk about your car like how I'm doing, just record it. Uh, there's really, it's really hard for me to recommend a new YouTuber that wants to start their own char ca car channel. And just get a camera or something or iPhone 6 and record on it and then post the videos up and you never know what will happen. Like my DIY splitter, that video helped me out a lot. One of the best things I would say, keep uploading, don't stop. Ronaldo Toledo, when are, you, when are you going to buy my motor? Not right now, that's all I could say. This fool Edwin, what's your take on fat chicks? <laughs> oh my God. Asian Sam Sam, money. How do you have money to do mods? Learn how to save. And I used to flip parts too, so learn how to save. Seattle Skunk. 
why do you track a slow motor? First of all, my car is slow, so I totally agree with you, Seattle Skunk. And because you can learn a lot more off a slow car compared to having a fast car. Because with the fast car, are you gonna be able to use all that power on the track? Unless you're on the straight. All right, next question by Kawawa Bear. Who has the cutest Lancer? You do. So it's summer. It's some. Um, Summer Ritzum. Some Ritzum. Oh my god. What are or were your favorite wheels? My T37s, which are over there. My work equip 03s that I used to have on my four door sedan. Those are one of my, I guess, best wheels that I actually owned. And those are 15 by 9 negative 6 and 15 by 10 negative 3. Um, no spacers or nothing, so I really enjoy those wheels. And now, man, I enjoy these new 15 by 8 RPF ones too. They're really nice ones. Devin Argon, what security system do you have? Also, do you worry about these in your area? I want to do a build like yours or the gathers hatch, but there's a unlikely ch or there's a likely chance the car will attract too much unwanted attention. What are your thoughts? I'll start off with the security system. Yes, I have a Viper two-way alarm. I installed it myself um, with pretty much all the options you could get. I have a tilt sensor, motion, well, Motion sensor I don't put on sometimes, a tilt sensor and stuff, so um, it will help you. But at the same time, thieves can do a lot of things just to get a car. Also, do you worry about thieves in your area? Um, a lot of cars get stolen around my area, so I do. But at the same time, my location where I live, I, it's fine. I know everybody on the street and um, when they, if someone does end up turning on my car, of course my parents, my mom's always home. People will hair, hair my car. And then uh, I want to do build like yours with a gas hatch, but there's unluck, un, a likely chance that the car will attract too much um, unwanted attention. You're positive on that one. Uh, mine and his car, we do attract a lot of attention, so we do. I do get a lot of people that stare into my car, even when I'm parked at work. If you guys see my dashboard camera videos, people are always looking in my car, people are looking at my car, and when I'm driving, people do like pull up next to me and look in my car while I'm sitting in my car. It's something that's like kind of annoying but it's not like I mean it's what you get you know if you want to do library of course you're gonna get a lot of attention so it's all up to you if you really want to you know get a library done or you can get attention so that's my thoughts um, that paradise EJ1 what do I need for a rear sway bar install besides a sway bar and lower control arm a suffering brace if you're in go bigger than OEM pretty much like OEM sway, sway bar size. If you're gonna get, for example, like ITR one like mine and run it just with lower control arms without a suffering brace, you will rip your subframe. There are people that, if you actually Google it, people have ripped their subframes. So get a suffering brace and then get lower control arms. Lower control arms aren't really a must because you can use, well, if you have the EX ones, I think has the sway bar holes for it, but if you get lower control arms too, get a sway bar, get a suffering brace first and then get the lower control arms, then just put it all together or just get a, uh, what is it? Suffering brace and a sway bar and just put it together. Just make sure that you need a suffering brace. Do not get a sway bar without a suffering brace if you're upping the size of your sway bar because it will tear your suffering apart and you don't want to fuck with that. Okay, so that's all the questions on my Instagram. But anyways, that is the end of the Q&A. Um, I don't know if that's too many questions, but if you guys really like me doing like Q&As or stuff like this, let me know. I will make more. Um, if anything, if you guys do actually want me to make another q and if you guys watched it till this far in the video, drop a question at the bottom. And I will probably make another Q&A later on in the weekend or something and upload it later. Um, not, I'm not gonna upload it after this, of course. Like, I'd rather have it later. But yeah, ask, feel free to ask me qu more questions. Um, try to stay away from the questions that I just answered so it's not like duplicated. But um, thank you guys for watching and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this Q&A and I try to make the best out of this Q&A um, LOL um, Ask me about Yeah, um, but still So thank you guys for watching and Stay tuned for more content like always I always say So like, comment, subscribe, dislike Up to you guys And peace out from me in the car Yeah, I'm kind of excited To put these on just for daily I mean Wider tires too, the wheels are wider compared to the T's because they're 15 by 7, these are 15 by 8, and yada yada yada. So, I'm gonna grab, a, grab the ones out of the truck and uh, start jacking up the car and 